Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine. And this is a short tribute to Tony McPhee, the legendary blues rock guitarist from the band The Groundhogs. As I've just heard the sad news that he has passed away. An absolutely superb player. And this video is dedicated to Tony's friends and family and fans of the Groundhogs and Tony from around the world. There are so many albums, there's so much music where Tony McPhee touched the lives of so many people. And so I know some of you watching this will have all the albums and some of you may have only just tentatively started to explore this part of you know British hard rock and blues. And all I want to try and do is point out what you might want to listen to in a moment like this. And the album that I'm going to suggest is Split. I think it was released at the tail end of 71, 72. It's a unique album in many ways because Side One is probably one of the first pieces of music that's about mental health. It's about a panic attack that Tony experienced when he was waking up and he put it down and put it into music. You know, it really is way ahead of its time and a fantastic piece of music, wonderful guitar playing and very ethereal in places. The track on this album that most people will know is Cherry Red, the opening song on side two. It's an absolutely blind of a rock song. It's timeless. It's appeared on loads of compilations and it's once you hear it, you'll probably think I've heard that before if you're new to this kind of music. I only met Tony McPhee briefly. I supported the Groundhogs actually in the mid 80s at um, the Penny Farthing in Oxford um, when I was in a band called Tantrum. And it was a very, very kind of an all very, very authentic, authentic character. And the reason I say that is that. It's mid 80s, I'm in a band called Tantrum and we're all dressed like, you know, typical hair metal, you know, people as I was then, even though I was from the UK. And Tony McPhee had his kind of like gloves on with the fingers cut out, um, you know, supping real ale. Um, he was the real deal. <laughs> all us with our um, hairspray and tight trousers. Um, he had been doing it since the late 60s and he just bumped, you know, bumped into, you know, these five guys from you know, where we were from in our early 20s, um, thinking we knew it all. And of course, you know, we didn't break many big strides into the music business, but Tony McPhee just carried on, carried on right through the 80s to the 90s, to the, the noughties and the naughty tens or whatever, and he just kept going. And right up until very recently, an absolutely superb player. Another album to check out is Thank Christ for the Bomb, which many people will say is his definitive statement. And that is an album that transcends rock to lots of punk artists were influenced by it. It's a very, very deep album, very observational, a fantastic record. But my recommendation for, for celebrating Tony McPhee's life is Split. So stream it, if you can find a copy, then, you know, go and get one. And I hope that there is a celebration of Tony McPhee's life and I hope they do pull together lots of albums. I know there's been some record store day releases and stuff on vinyl, but a lot of stuff is quite hard to find now. But that's by the by, really. This is about another legend, another blues rock legend from you know our world of the people I grew up with and many of you that watch this channel um well we're just trying to keep up with all these different you know musicians that we know and um, that are, are no longer with us so take care everybody stay positive play the music remember music is the healer and the doctor and keep spinning those those records as I've just said and stay safe and I shall see you very, very soon.